welcome to another video so in this video we're going to do something which is very simple in principle we're gonna do gestures to be specific pen gestures one of the nice things about react native is that you are able to make really beautiful animations and the react native gesture handler library allows us to create these beautiful gestures within our react native apps so right now I just have a simple square, a red square, and the code to this is not anything special. You can just see just a simple text and a view. The view is the has the styling of a square, which you can see right here. It's just a width of 150, a height of 150, and a background color of red. So what we're trying to do now is just we're gonna implement a gesture handler on this on this square so the first thing which is obvious uh, that we should do is to import the react native gesture handler library so after we import the react native gesture handler library uh, the next thing that we have to do is to wrap our square in a gesture pen gesture handler so the pen gesture handler allows us to add gesture events within the whatever view that we've currently wrapped it so so we have that you'll notice that still nothing will is happening here so that's because we have to implement a function here, which is the on gesture event. So the on gesture event uh, method takes in a function. So which we're gonna call on pen gesture event. Okay, so we don't have that function yet, so we have to define it here. So const on pen gesture hand. And then um, after we define the function, we have to define what this it's more, it's more for like a, a constant will do. Before I go further, so with uh, animations in React Native. And if you're not going to use any other library, you normally use the animated value, which is which is a default animation uh, method. So it's called animated. So it allows us to do animations in React Native, and it normally takes in a value. So so what's going to happen now when you do a, a gesture? So it has to be like an animated event. So, so we're just going to change this a little bit. So this now will become an animated event. So the animated event, you have to just note what will happen uh, for that event. So that we normally do here. So, so so we're gonna have like a native event, which is gonna translate uh, X and translate Y. So this right here is, is like um, the default values uh, that you want to add for your gesture. So I'm just gonna define them outside here. Const translate X. And then I'll set this one to be the new animated value of zero. So that will be like the default uh, translation value for, for X. And we're going to do the same thing for, for Y. And then we're just going to replace these guys here with what we've set up there. So the native event will take these initial values. So whenever you're doing a gesture, it will follow uh, the animated values, which will change uh, based on an initial value of zero. 
So, and then we want to also use the native driver. Okay. Gonna use the native driver. So we're gonna put it as true. The next thing that we're gonna do, just gonna save. We're not getting any error, but you'll notice that we're still not getting any animations there. So what has to happen now is that we actually have to change the view because this view is not animated. So we have to also set it to be an animated view. That view. And then after we set it to be an animated view, we have to define um remember we've we've set these uh transforms here. So we have to like set a corresponding transform to to the actual view to set what what is it that we want the view to do. So in this case we want it to translate x and then want it to translate y. That's the transform that we want for for this view. So we're just gonna define that in the animated view. Uh, so this has to be defined within the styles. So one of the reasons why I put these uh, square brackets is that like it allows us to have multiple styles within the style prop. So these ones we named is translation X and this other one is translation Y. Okay, happy with that. Just gonna save it. And then Uh, we have everything so I'm just gonna save should be going like this now so we see that we have actually a working implementation of the pen gesture so there is a part 2 video whereby I'll explain a better way of actually doing this pen gesture. So the pen gesture or the pen gesture handler can be actually be replaced with a pen responder. So the pen responder provides more flexibility uh, when it comes to control over gestures. So we can actually improve this code by replacing the pen gesture handler with a pen responder and using a use ref to create a mutable ref of the animated value. So if you're looking for a way better way of doing this code, just click on the second part of this video in the description or the last or one of the suggestions. Hope you enjoyed this one. Hope you learned something. Cheers y'all.